Machete. All right, thanks for joining us for episode two commentary. I'm Bernard. I'm Kevin. I'm Eugenie. I'm Steve Avitable, still an actor. Still an actor. And uh, as you can see, if you just watch the episode, the first episode, it, we just continue from that big kind of cliffhanger. Um, Eugenie is wearing that, that awesome top. Let's talk about this scene a little bit. How um, this scene was actually, this sequence of scenes was not actually not in the original script, and we added it on later. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Um, I got a bunch. Of the The biggest note I got to make me do that was from uh, one of my friends, Patricio. And he's just like, we need to see the setup of this whole deal. And I didn't write it until he told me to do it. And it just worked. They're like some of the best scenes to kind of set up the whole thing. Um, and I think they worked out really well, right? It worked out really well. We had to figure out how to edit them in. There were a few different versions. We got some good input from um, Julian, um, yeah, Julian and, and uh, a few uh, other people. I don't remember. You don't remember the names of your roommates? It was, it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it Sean? And yeah, it was Sean. It was Sean. There's okay. also a scene later that I think we should bring up that was um, we cut off the beginning, like maybe oh, four or five after, lines. Yeah. The, the one in the kitchen got cut off because yeah, we had wait, this instead. Because, yeah, we, we did have this. It's we the scene with uh, Eugenie the and the whole I. pacing of the, the episode. So, uh, Steve, this is kind of like a pretty intense scene with, uh, with so Wendy. Um, yeah, talk about how you felt during this. Um, I actually got to say, because I play a pretty big asshole in this, kind of, and especially this scene. This is probably, I don't know if you guys would agree or not, but probably my biggest asshole scene, especially I have a, right at the end here. I, I think the one at the end of the episode is more of an asshole. Uh, that's true. But I'm, I'm a pretty big jerk in this, like, right around this point. You kind of play, you kind of play this guy that, like, he's an asshole to everybody, but to himself he thinks he's doing the right, right thing exactly like i don't realize I'm that i think that's what a a that's the definition of asshole it is it kind of <laughs> is and that's what and you know it was it was kind of fun to play but at the same time i gotta tell you every time we cut i really i was like oh my god like i felt so bad saying it to her even though you know it's uh, yeah there this you go. is the scene steve was talking about where yeah. Oh, yeah the beginning was cut tough. off <laughs> there was a little bit of a head on this scene which uh, we ended up cutting because of those additional scenes. Uh, Eugenie, can you tell me how you uh, coached up Steve on that kissing scene? <laughs> we did. Hang on. Side note, this is actually the first scene Steve and Eugenie shot together. This was like yeah. the second day of shooting. Was it? Yeah, it was. Steve, I just want you to know, Eugenie, Steve was super pumped the day before this. Oh, really? So anyways, continue, Eugenie. Continue. Tell us about the scene. He said he wasn't going to tell anyone. Um, yeah, this was, um, I, you know, Steve was so nervous that I oh, uh, was nervous. You invited and, uh, My bad. <laughs> and then uh, after, I don't why, know. Why was you, Steve nervous? <laughs> because every everyone came, was watching me and kept laughing every time I did certain things. Was it because it was your first kiss ever? <laughs> <laughs> it was my first kiss ever on screen. Have you also laid lips on a woman before? <laughs> Have I what? Have you laid lips on a woman? On her it's lips. Weird, but it's legal. Yes. <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, okay. Look at you, all protective of your crazy. Oh man. <laughs> as you can see, as you see any uh, behind there, we set up. You don't see the payoff for this till the fifth episode. But the tennis racket is there. Tennis racket. We found those at a thrift store. Yep. For uh, fifty cents. Oh, that's right. I remember you being what pumped about finding. What it, What is the tennis rackets from? Um. Oh, the school's out. Well, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring that up in episode five when we go through it. Uh, uh, I don't know what you were going to talk about, but remember what you were telling me the other day about this school? I feel like you should bring that up if you... Uh, oh, you know, you could just say it. <laughs> I don't remember the movies, though, is the problem, uh, uh, so you should say that it. That school, that's John Marshall High School. Um, it's actually the front high school in a lot of movies. Uh, Freddy Krueger, Wonder Years. Uh, that, it's, it's like a long list. It's on Wikipedia. But. Oh, well, there was... Uh, I forgot the other ones. Um, Eugenie. Yes. Jake Regal. Yes. You know him well. I don't know him that well. Him? No, I don't know him that well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's in the. He's from the UCB community, right? Upright yeah, Tennessee yeah. Brigade. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've performed at his. Um, he hosts the night, uh, Mark Improv, and I've performed there a few times. Um, I'd like to perform there more, but. Uh, I think it's exclusive. It's exclusive. I'll yeah. We'll talk. We'll t Jake likes us. Yeah. Jake's a good guy. I love Jake. Yeah, yeah I love Jake the best too. Line back there, by the, the way. This scene, this Just scene was. The end of back to the future. And we'll there was the so much back. improv at the end of the scene yeah. that we didn't put in, but I'm sure it'll be coming out soon. It is just. Oh yeah. These like, two guys. Going. If this scene were a minute long, yeah. there was another extra yeah. minute. Over there. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this scene, this is this is our first shot at Big Earth Park. We shot this really early in the morning. We were probably up here about seven in the morning. 
So a few things about this scene. One, I'm gonna say it. I ran down the mountain to get some some cards that someone forgot. That, oh, that's that was right. a little fun. But we also shot this. Now let's call him out. Let's just say it. Marco. Marco forgot. <laughs> Marco. Yeah, Marco. The CF cards. Okay. And he was joking about it before. And he was joking about it, but then he really did. And I ran down the mountain. I did it in record time, by the way. If cares. Kevin's our fastest person on so, set, so we sent We him. shot this on the day that, I don't know if you guys remember, back in January, they found a head at Hollywood. Ooh, Park. cliffhanger. Before you go on that, <laughs> when, when, the SD cards, when the SD cards were missing, I was like, what, really? And I just turn around and I see Kev stretching. <laughs> It was yeah. also crazy Dedication. because at the same time, someone was like, there's this random guy and his head is missing. And we saw yeah. some other guy stretching. <laughs> yeah. Might have been linked. So, you guys might have heard about this this head missing at, or head missing, head found at Hollywood sign. So, there were a lot of helicopters flying around. And we were a little paranoid that they were there for us because we were filming on top of the mountain. But, no, they were just looking for a body. There was, wasn't there at one point, there was like literally five or six helicopters yeah, overhead. there were. They, they, and it was hard for us to shoot. We had to yeah, keep breaking because of all the helicopters. Kind of hey, can I ask you two? You yeah. guys are kind of like standing on the cliff. Yeah, yeah. Right. What What were you guys, because uh, we're not actually shooting, but you guys are in the background. What? <laughs> yeah. Steve was like massaging your hair. Oh, yeah, Eugenie. We what were you guys talking about well, you were still hiding your relationship with... Uh, oh, with yeah. So we, one? so we were Batteries, like, with batteries for those in the middle. I think Steve had figured it out. We were talking about you. We were actually gossiping right. about you that Oh, day. you're gossiping about and me? I was awesome. actually a little worried we were going to get picked up with the microphone, so I kept whispering. Steve but. had decrypted that, that, that secret relationship. <laughs> I, somehow, <laughs> you know, some people call me observant. Some people call me... Well, no, everyone calls me observant. Call I'm very observant. Things, Steve. <laughs> but, but yeah, we, we were actually just having a regular conversation, and I was coached to massage the back of Eugenie's head, which I got pretty good at. <laughs> Did he? Did he, Eugenie? I know I how to manipulate people. <laughs> this is uh, what Marco calls his notebook <laughs> shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, I was trying to pull my best Ryan Gosling I'm, here if I'm I could. Here. Did you say hair? Steve, I think you nailed it. Nailed it, Did buddy. I? I, told, I was kind of channeling him from Drive, which right. is the wrong Ryan Gosling. Let's, let's talk about this whole, this whole section right here. <laughs> um, yeah. This this was not in the script. We had to kind of come up with this on the spot because of problems shooting and stuff. Yeah, this was um, difficult because I had to like play dumb. Yeah. And um. Yeah. Yeah. I remember this. Uh, and you're like, me, the I'm the. So. so smart. Incredibly intelligent. a lot of people don't know. The way I know you, Jenny, is we were in an uh, improv class together. That's so right. we were trying to come up with a way to do this scene, and it was like, oh, we'll just we'll just improv it, Eugenie. Mm -hmm. And then she we we brought up like three things, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, I can see my house. Uh, here's some tai chi, and we had another one. I can't right? even remember. But the best thing about this scene, what I love about Eugenie, is the way she like. When other people are talking, she'll sneak something in, and it's like the funniest part of the scene. She does that in a lot of episodes. I think a lot she does of it at the end of this episode, of actually. Yeah. yeah, so if you pay attention to, like, yeah, Eugenie's right. performance, you, ju you just, like, throw these little things in. Oh, they're, like, perfect. She does it, she does it in the, the next scene that you see Hannah in, yeah. I believe. Yeah, at the end, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's one of the funniest this, parts this of that scene. This scene, actually... There was um, some inner monologues that were supposed to be on, and then oh, yeah. uh, we decided to cut that then. later on, huh, Fig? Um, yeah, it, yeah, it just, just didn't sound good. That that was the best yeah. part. Also, we had uh, Kevin reading them all while we were sitting there, <laughs> and he was reading them so fast, and everyone kept getting mad at him. Kevin, slow down. we got to react to these. There's a good... <laughs> 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 shirts on top. <laughs> just they're the, such a cute they're, couple. They're matching, they're matching outfits. It's just so good. <laughs> you kept mentioning it, right? Yeah. Like, they just look so good together. Yeah. It looks like they got they're their, also, their they're glasses. They're also the same height. They're like, what? 5'1". Like <laughs> they're so, they're so <laughs> small. She's so feisty. Man, Hannah hit oh, me yeah. about she, nine times. Yeah. Yeah. Did hits. about four or five times. real spits. <laughs> And then I think I and really kicked does, dirt in my face. Jake does the yeah. Don Flamenco move from Mike Tyson's punch out <laughs> yeah. at you. You were gonna biff her? I love I love these guys waddle up in the background right here. You think that was okay? We were trying to time it. It was so hard. <laughs> it was kind of weird looking. Hook, you all right? I, one of the scenes I actually tried to wear that shirt that I'm wearing, and Bernard, I remember Bernard telling me not to wear it because it looked like a wife beater shirt. <laughs> I still don't know what you mean by that. But for some reason, it was okay for me to wear it for hiking. 
pretty small. I think it's just a braised ego. <laughs> That's the part. Right. That was it. Yeah, that was the last. She's pretty small. Yeah, you always get the button, yeah. you Jenny. You get that button on the end of she scenes. To, she, it's she perfect. She lets the rest of us zipper in, and then she just buttons. You're so happy to be going in the car. <laughs> and when and Wendy's very unhappy to go into the Tidbits. car. There was a script there on the back. But now of the maybe car. a little happier. <laughs> oh, that is a script. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <a> script. <laughs> that's, a, that's my car. That's that is Fig's right, car. So this, this is the um the other the end of the added scenes. So. She left, all right. And we decided to put this at the end because we thought it was a good end to the um, really the episode. Man. It really just well, yeah. When we changed up how the scenes were played, this episode we were talking about it. It turns into Stanford's episode. So it, it's kind of, it's really good that it starts off um, where it does because Stanford kind of makes a deal with the Ginny. I mean, with the Ginny. The Stanford makes a deal with uh, DK, and then we end with him. Kind of making the deal with Mike with Fig. Once the so yeah, this is once Wendy's yeah. left. It felt really good when we finally stumbled upon this with all the notes we got from everybody. Yeah, this worked out pretty well. This is actually my favorite line from this game. <laughs> Not that one. There's another one. Oh, I think it's, it's just the, the one where I say it's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's just a jerk in this. Uh, I would like to point out before we get away from the shirtless scenes that um, in between each take. Kevin right, Hinman, our producer, <laughs> insisted on uh, oh, uh, flicking my nipples in, in between each take because he wanted them to, quote-unquote, look good and hard, and he, well, he wanted them to, to look the, optimal not for Not true at all. Okay. Let's get back to the paper towels. Who bakes? Who bakes? Ah, that's yeah. me. That's mine. Ah, oh, I have a pink uh, one. Would you Snap. like some cookies at some point? I'll bake my own. I have a pink one. Didn't Delish. you see mine? Oh, yeah. yeah. The fry at later is Bernard's, too. He hey, fries. This episode, the paper towels, it's just money. Everyone loves But, but Kevin really, yeah. Kevin Not really you. was flicking my Not, nipples. I did. You totally were. And that's our friend Tim Ferguson on the, that's a great song. So, guys, that's it for episode two. Please tune in to the rest of the episodes. Thanks for everyone for thank coming. You. Oh, thank no, you. Thank you, Bernard, for having